All right, we have our last pre-final of the weekend, and it's the first time we have a pre-final this weekend for the senior Rotax contingent. Results for the intermediate classification. We now have 36 drivers lining up and getting ready to go racing. So, intermediate classification, it was Paul Fokimat that put his 312 Cat on pole position. Alongside will be Max Stemmerdink in the 321 from the Netherlands. Lachlan Robinson from the UAE and Luca Leistra from Belgium Road 2. Milan Coppens and Justin Pollen re representing Belgium and the Netherlands Row 3. Hugo Arendi from Estonia and the Netherlands Baz Janssen Row 4. Turkey's Erhard Turka and Great Britain's Sean and Dylan LaHaye representing the Netherlands and the last two drivers, Belgium respectively, ran out the top 13 ahead of Christian de Klein, Sam Bergstein, Danny Prince, Switzerland's Mario Stidler, Belgium's Victor Plateau with the 374 Nick Cobbins and the 390 of the Netherlands, Jordi van der Eyck running out the top 20, completing the 36 strong in this order. Gilles Clouet, Clement Tim Benoit, Colin van Lameren, Kevin Kramers, Devin Sigardi, Lars Zanen, Rem Koban, Bart Devitz, Yashram Jankan, Kobe De Broeke, Adrien Labuda, and Yori Schoens. That is the 36 strong grid. Getting ready to go into battle for 13 minutes plus an additional lap. The heats were the aperitif to the main course that we have at the moment, and then they do say leave the best until last, and that will be dessert a little bit later on as Senior Rotax will close down the weekend's action here at Marienborg. And then on the 9th and 10th of October this year, we head back to the home of champions where it all started earlier on this year in uh, March, late March for the BL Karting Series kickoff. And we'll crown our champions and who will be going to the Rotax Max Challenge Grand Finals at the Bahrain International Cup. This year. So wet weather conditions could be an equaliser. It could... Rather hand weaving ahead of getting racing. Dink on the front to increase. Are we ready? Are we steady? Have we gone lights out? It looks to be the case as they all fill. Uh, we already have someone off at the exit. What well, going through into turn? So the first coming out of it to try and carry the momentum through. So Robinson drops to fourth place. The fuck him out. Uh, Branding out the top two. It looks like that's Lystra that's got past Robinson and Sean Butch has made his way up in some peace. Ethan Pullman trying to get past, I believe, or is that maybe? Uh, that won't be Justin Palmer, that will be one of the JJ racing carts, so that would be more than likely a flinch during that good his intentions. But it's it's uh, at the moment it is Stemming that's leading the way. Lystra butchers up the inside of Robinson. And that's for P4 on the road. Robinson's got Milan Coppens for close company. As there has been a little bit of a turnaround. I saw one cart facing the wrong way coming through into the final. Chicane. So you can just see the different ways of which and Lystra just well that was hang on, that's Milan Coppens. So Luca Lystra's dropped down to six. So Max Stemmerdink leads the pre-final. Milan Coppens in second. Paul Fokima, Sean Butcher, Lachlan Robinson, Luca Lystra. Lystra now is being closed in on by Dylan LaHaye, as I think there might have been a move that's just happened. And Butcher has got past Fokima for P3. 
And LaHaye, in the meantime, has got past Lachlan Robinson as uh, I think I might have just seen <laughs> as Fokima is dropped. Like a stone as Robinson goes up the inside it looks like Leicester is also trying to 10 minutes and 22 seconds Milan cup he has started to do so he's from Jay for at the moment anything can happen Clementine Benoit unfortunately has retired and I think that was Clementine Benoit that was the one that ended up on the outside of turn number two on the very first First lap, so a real shame for Benoit. Stevenink being closed in on by Milan Coppens, but Sean Butcher is getting a good run. But race pace of the lead, we're on lap number three. It's getting rather, rather not hesitant, but I think there is a little bit of uh, apprehension as now Coppens tries to go side pod to the side pod, gets past Stevenink. Sean Butcher is closing in at a comfortable rate it's of knots. Dylan LaHaye rounds out the top four, Ro Lachlan Robinson. Uh, in fifth pl place and it looks like he has dropped the likes of Fokima and has dropped Fokima to the tune of nearly 1.3 sec uh, that is one of the I'm not too sure that could be Alexander Van Mullen, I'm afraid at uh, Devon 35th as Max Stemmerdink take still the 90 left at turn four but on that particular occasion decides to wait until he gets into five and six and this is where he can go for it Coppens tries to banzai up the inside Stevendink runs a little bit wide and Sean Butcher's trying to get past LaHaye who has stolen third position off of him in the process but LaHaye is not satisfied with third place he wants that victory we've seen it before from Dylan LaHaye that when you get rid when you get uh, him on fire at a particular circuit and predominantly it's Marienburg or Genk he's been with G kept up just under eight minutes to go and here goes LaHaye up the inside of Stemmerdink uh, for turn number one for P2, but Stemenink's trying to keep it planted around the outside. LaHaye to the inside. Stemenink runs a little bit wide. That's going to open the door for Sean Butcher. But in the meantime, Lachlan Robinson has closed in. LaHaye is the fastest driver out on the circuit, but Lachlan Robinson is closing in on the court set ahead as Robinson now tries to do his level best. Sean Butcher tries to go up the inside of Max Stemenink through turn four and gets the job done. Nice and clean from the Australian living out of London in the United Kingdom. But he runs under a UK license. And now Lachlan Robinson. He fancies a piece of the action too. Does the 17-year-old based out of Dubai. And the good thing is Robinson and Butcher are good teammates. And also good friends off track as there goes the move for P3. Butcher up the inside of Stemmerdink. Robinson will wait for his chance. And coming out of the chicane, he could get a chance to do so. Robinson has been on an incredible steep learning curve and that's a great move up the inside of Max Stemmerding. Robinson saw the gap was opening and he went, I can squeeze through that gap. And I think Lachlan Robinson could have even put a bust through that gap if he tried. And now, slightly different line there from Sean Butcher. Goes wide to turn one and then cuts on through. Uh, and that's uh, a pretty good racing line to have there because that really gives you a good purchase. Four came out is in the wars at the moment, really well and truly. Flint Schuring, Christian De Klein, Luca Lystra are battling with the 312. He started on pole position, so it has been a race to forget. Alexander Vermeulen has also had a race to forget. He and uh, Clementine Benoit become two of the 36 drivers that have now retired.
Marazanian up into 18th past Jordi von der Eich. Buzz Janssen drops to 15th behind the likes of Beard Dorostein. Sam Van Til, Nick Coppens and Artur Horsch who round out 11th to 14th on the on the running order as Dutch. Luca Leistra has now got past Paul Fokema for what is sixth position and is now about 1.6 seconds behind Max Stemmerdink, who rounds out the top five. Well, that gap looks to be decreasing as there is Leistra. There's Fokema. There's Flint Schuring looking to go up the inside. A bit of a different line taken by Fokema, who gets literally a lot of understeer going into uh, the right hander. That brings them on to the final chicane complex here as you can see drivers struggling for traction and had Turkey getting a bit of understeer going into the right hander someone going sideways a little bit further down the order looks to be either Gilles Clouet or Yashanam Jank it might have been Gilles Clouet that went a bit sideways going into that right hander but with just over five minutes to go Dylan LaHaye hits the front of the field he's ahead of Milan Coppens Sean Butcher rounds out the top three Lachlan Robinson in fourth Max Devonink in fifth, Luca Leistra, Paul Fokema, Flint Schuring, Danny Prince, and Beers Dorostein round out the top ten. Christiana Klein drops down into 13th position behind the likes of Sam Van Thiel and Nick Cuppens. So Robinson is currently in fourth position. He's ahead of Max Stemmenink, but there is the fast closing, Luca Leistra, the 307 from Belgium who answered the top five that was rounded out by Robinson. So it was Lystra, Butcher and Robinson that came through into this round. There were 11 points to drift. So no Callum Bradshaw, no Mark Kimber this weekend here in Marienborg. And uh, they were the top three in the standings coming into this round effectively with not having Butcher or Kimber here as there is the move on Max Stemmerdink by Luca Leistra going through into turn two nicely done by the 307 that now takes uh, fifth place and next up on his list will be the 316 of Lachlan Robinson representing the United Arab Emirates Yash Ramjankan has dropped oh Ramjankan is out and in well he's in the gravel he's trying to pull the car on his own on his Todd Marshall trying to assist but Yash Ramjankan from Dams Racing gets the car onto the wet grass and that's not easy to push in these uh, wet weather conditions and I think that could be it D done and dusted yellow flags waving in that right hander so that's not going to give an opportunity for the likes of uh, Sean Butcher to pass Milan Coppens if he got the chance if he was close enough and it'll be the same for Luca Lystra because he will have to wait and that is it unfortunately Yashram Jankan's pre-final here in Marienborg is over I'm afraid We head into the last three minutes and Sean Butcher has been closing in on Milan Coppens. He took the best part of nearly two tenths of a second. They go nearly side by side through the exit of turn two for second place on the road. Butcher will wait and abide his time. Leicester in the meantime is closing in on Robinson, but um, Robinson has been setting... <laughs> Leistra. So Ram Jankan's race was over the minute the marshal started using the uh, the claw assist to pull the cart out of harm's way. Butcher is just waiting for his time to strike. He's not going to close in on Dylan LaHaye, but this will help his championship no end by getting a solid result. Obviously, uh, throttle cable problems gave the Australian uh, based out of London a bit of a drama in the first race where he finished. He managed to get it, limp it back to the to the checkered flag but ended up having his worst result this season in the heat side of things as uh, Lachlan Robinson looks to be on his own a little bit more now because Luca Lystra I think has just dropped off the back of him now I'm wondering is there an issue for Lystra not too sure well Lystra is now 1.2 seconds behind and Robinson did a 1 minute 12.8 his fastest lap in this race so far Lystra a 1 minute 13.5 at nigh on so it has been swings and roundabouts so far today. As it looks like, things have cleared up a little bit. There is a... Uh, the rain doesn't look to be falling now because you can see that the wet weather tyres, the Mojo W5s, are doing their job there. So there is effectively a dry line of some description. It won't be completely bone dry, 
but it will be a little bit easier for the drivers to navigate their way around the circuit, but also gives them a chance to explore new racing lines around the track itself. Just under 60 seconds to go. We've got a battle here. And that will be including Max Stemmerink, who started from pole now, finds himself in six. And just behind him is Flint Schering, then Paul Fokima, Danny Prince in the number 303 from Barms Racing rounds out the top nine with Nick Carpens also from the same morning completing the top ten. LaHaye has powered away into the distance. 1 minute 12.5 was his previous lap time. You know, Coppins a 1 minute 13.4. So Coppins just residing himself maybe to second, maybe to third. As here comes Fokima. Trying to look up the inside of Flint Shearing. Shearing drifts wide through turn two. And that opens the door for the 312 from France to get through. Just over 10 seconds on the clock remaining. And we're effectively on the penultimate lap of this race. Ehad Turka gets past Christian de Klein for 16th position. The top 15 score points towards their championship. So if you are 16th, unfortunately for the for Ehad Turka, he's about 2.4 seconds behind Lara Zanen and won't pick up any points in this race. So the timer has now officially expired. There is Dylan LaHaye after this lap. One more to go, and he'll be on his way to pick up welcome victory. So through the chicane comes the 3.28 from GKS. Sean Butcher's got past Milan Coppens. Butcher was waiting. He bided his time, and he got the job done. Last lap board is out. So now Milan Coppens gets the hurry-up sign, effectively. And he is just over three-tenths behind Sean Butcher as they cross the line for the penultimate time. And uh, going through turn two, there is LaHaye. I'm more interested in what's happening between Butcher and uh, Coppens, and Coppens has lost a little bit of time coming out of turn two. LaHaye into the 90 left at four for the final time on lap number 12. Christiana Klein has dropped all the way down to 19th ahead of Jordi van der Eyck in the 390. Uh, Paul Fokima ahead of Flint Schering, Lara Zanen up to fifth, uh, 14th ahead of Baz Janssen, Victor Plato and Christian Kramers. Uh, Kevin Kramers get up into... Uh, 17th and 18th respectively Kobe De Bruyke and Scott West Ovens seem to be doing a fairly decent job up into 22nd and 23rd so there are 2nd and 3rd there uh, Lachlan Robinson has uh, kept himself in good competitive performance here this weekend first time he's ever been in this track and he's done it, he's raced in it in both the wet and the dry but Dylan LaHaye <laughs> does the old cheeky army style salute there to uh, some of his uh, mates from GKS Lemons Power and takes the victory by 3.3 seconds Milan Coppens in third place ahead of Lachlan Robbins Robinson with Luca Lystra making it three out of the five top five being from Belgium Max Stemmerdink in six ahead of Flint Schuring a real shame for Stemmerdink who started on the uh, who started uh, uh, on the front row alongside Paul Fokima but Flint Schuring would be managed in, uh, would be uh, sandwiched in between the pair. And Schuring in the 3.23, finishing in, um, yeah, finishing in uh, seventh place. Danny Prince in ninth, Nick Cuppens in tenth. Sem Van Til, Artur Horsch, Beard Dorostein, Lara Zanin, Baz Janssen, Ehad Turka, Victor Plateau, Kevin Kramers, Christian De Klein, Jordi van der Eyck, Hugo Arendi, Kobe De Bruyke, Scott Westhovens, Sam Bergstein, Mario Sidler. Justin Palman, Gilles Chloé, Devin Sigardi, Ram Corban, Colin Van Lameren, Adrian Labuda, and Bart of Devitt rounded out the 32 that finished. Yori Schoen's unfortunately retiring with two laps to go. Yashram Janken out on lap six. Alexander Vermeulen on lap two. And Clamour Team Benoit unfortunately not making it past the first lap.